This is Josh from Azale Dying, and you're watching punkvideosrock.com. What's up, guys? Robert Herrera here with punkvideosrock.com. We're hanging out backstage of the cool tour, and I'm hanging out with Josh of Azale Dying. What's up? How's this uh, tour treating you guys? Uh, it's been awesome, man. It's like not too long of a tour, so uh, it's been about two and a half weeks now, I think, and it's been super awesome. Cool crowds, like bands on the tour, freaking awesome. So it's been pretty cool, I guess. So <laughs> just cool. going to be done tomorrow, so just looking forward to get home kind of, but... Yeah. You know what? Uh, what do you guys have planned after that? Uh, well, we've actually we've been on tour. Basically, we've had like we had four days off before this tour after being out for five weeks, and then before that we had like seven days off and we were out for a month. So we basically been on tour for about three months now. Oh, nice. So we're just gonna be off for about six weeks after this, and we're just gonna hang out and chill with our families and friends that we haven't seen in a while. <laughs> you guys uh, recently released um, a new record, uh, Powerless Rise. Um, and then, from my understanding, Tim has his own studio. Yeah. So was a lot of that recorded with Tim? Yeah. Uh, basically, the way we did it is we recorded the drums in like a nice uh, drum room in San Diego called Signature Sound. And okay. then all the guitars and bass and vocals were done at Tim's studio. So okay. it, made it, made it made it very uh, local and like it was actually inside of my house. So I just walked downstairs because I lived at the same house where the studio was. So. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was a big difference in recording then. Oh, yeah. It was just it was very laid back this time. You guys are influenced with a lot of the classical metal bands that are, um, you know, coming back nowadays. Uh, are you guys having any plans on trying to see them or maybe a possible tour with them? Well, you know, I mean, we, we've seen, we saw a lot of the, the classic metal bands this summer. I mean, we, we saw the, all the big four, like, you know, we saw Anthrax, Megadeth, Metallica, you, uh, trying to think what other bands that we saw. We saw ACDC. We, mm. we saw a lot of classic metal bands this summer that we were, you know, never thought maybe we would see so that was cool and you know of course if any number of or any one of those bands asked us to open a tour we totally would be stoked to Definitely. do it so you know it just depends on the timing i guess but i mean i you know we'll see how possible it is for metallica to ask us on tour or iron maiden to ask us to come on a tour <laughs> so no, that'd be yeah. pretty sick so awesome. uh what music are you guys bumping right now like you know and and during this tour the cool tour what what can we hear on your bus you know we're, we're listening to the new deftones a lot it's uh one of the newer you know heavy releases that we're all into uh trying to think i mean a lot of the guys you know are super stoked on allison chains new record we okay. listen to that a lot i mean you got our, our our drum tech mike is always blasting like techno and rap which you know honestly it is a good it's a good uh it's a good mixture it's a good mixture to have because sometimes when you hear metal and hardcore all day you kind of get over it yeah uh and me personally there's this this uh this rapper out of uh gadsden alabama that uh I'm super stoked on called Yellow Wolf. He's kind of he's signed to Interscope. He's a new new artist for them, and mm -hmm. he's uh, obviously there's hometown pride there. But he's an awesome rapper too. And we're playing a show with him in a cup. Like it's this uh, thing called the Maloof Money Cup. It's a uh, skateboarding competition. There okay. it's like next week, and we're playing with him. So I'm nice. super stoked about that guy, Yellow Wolf. Check so him out. By any chance, do any of you guys skate? Uh, you know, nobody really skates uh, on. You know. No, nobody really skates like they used to. I think when they're younger, like I skated here and there a little bit, but uh, I think Phil and Jordan skated more than more than anyone else in the band. But they okay. really don't have time. They definitely don't do it on the, the same amount as they used to. Yeah, but, exactly, yeah. exactly. No, that's cool. So you guys obviously tour a lot. So how do you guys spend your time uh, during tour? I like to write music on tour. That's one thing. Like a lot of our last record was written kind of while we were on tour, or okay. you know, with mobile like recording rig stuff. Uh, trying to think. There's some, uh, you know, some of us like to, you know, work out here and there, or, you know, go for runs and stuff. There, there's a new hobby I actually picked up this week called, uh, I don't know how, this has obviously been around for a long time because I talked to some people and they mm -hmm. said they've heard of it, but it's called geocaching. It's where you, uh, basically you can get, if you have any sort of GPS unit, like if you have a phone that has GPS mm -hmm. or if you actually have like a TomTom Tom GPS unit, there's this website uh, called geocaching.com and basically you go in there and you, you like hide you know, or like people hide objects like anywhere like right now i could i have an app on my phone for it actually i can mm -hmm. be like find caches nearby and there's probably a hundred nearby and you what you do is it, it gives you clues and it gives you a coordinate mm -hmm. and you take your gps to the coordinate and there's like stuff hidden there and it's like you sign your name and it's, it's kind of nerdy but <laughs> it's it takes a while like sometimes it'll take you like an hour to find them at a certain place like yeah. yesterday i spent like an hour and a half trying to find one and i never found it <laughs> so i mean it's definitely a good time killer and it's kind of like i can't really go actually hiking or camping or do anything really yeah. like that because we're in the middle of cities but exactly. it's like the closest thing to like 
going on a little treasure hunt in the city. <laughs> Is there any like uh, you know places in particular that you know are in every city that you really look forward to going? Like, I mean, you know, just I live in San Diego, so coming up to to Hollywood, there's definitely the spots you know you like to hit, and you know that's the same with cities that we've been to a few times. Like, there's always those cool restaurants or bars or whatever you mm -hmm. want to hit and check it out. And I mean, I'm trying to think of some of my favorite. Would, places. You, would you say they're like tradition? Like every time you swing by there, you have to go there. I mean, yeah, definitely certain places. I mean, here there's, I don't necessarily have a tradition. It's just kind of like, you know, there's the, the obvious places, you know, like the Rainbow and the Key Club, stuff like that, where people are, bands are always playing. And mm -hmm. like, I, you know, definitely always, you know, try to, I guess here it's not, there's not as much of like a traditional place that I go, but there's yeah. definitely like, when we're in Philadelphia, there's some like cheesesteak places we always go. When we're in New York City, there's some restaurants I always go to. So, you know, it's not... It's not every city, but there's definitely the places that stick out. Again, we're on the cool tour, and you have a couple more shows left, right? Just one more. After oh, one today. more show yeah. left. Okay, so and then I, I noticed you guys have a Germany tour coming up. So, yeah. um, what are you guys looking forward to that Germany tour? Well, between now and then, like we have the German tour that's coming up, and I think that's the beginning of November, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, yeah, I believe we have, that's what it was. Yeah, we we have a tour between now and then. It's actually not announced yet, but I'll announce it because this video will probably not be up at least for until the day after tomorrow, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> so it's, we're doing a tour with it's us and all that remains and unearth and an as of yet unnamed opener. But uh, that's going to be in September, and it's going to be U like half U.S., half Canada, and I'm I'm not exactly you know sure of like the exact cities or the nearest cities to here or anything. But that's a big tour that we're looking forward to first, and then we after that we have the uh, the tour in Europe, which is us, Suicide Silence, and uh, Heaven Shall Burn, and uh, we're still talking about the lo the opening band for that too. Yeah. But yeah, after that, I mean, we're super stoked about both of those tours, and we we're kind of stoked to you know to head back to Europe and not be on the festival circuit. Cause we, we were just there and we were on the festival circuit, which is awesome, but it's kind of like a nerve wracking kind of like throw and go type thing. Like you have one hour to set up and get on there and just mm -hmm. whatever it sounds like is what it's going to sound like. Yeah, Sorry. Exactly. But, you have no control whatsoever. Right. And you know, on, on these upcoming tours that we're going to be doing in Europe, we'll have sound checks and, you know, get everything sounding how we actually want it to, instead of just like, this is what you got, take it. So, those, there's definitely, you know, a cool, some cool points that come from playing in front of like 20,000 people at a festival, but mm -hmm. it's also very nerve wracking to be like, I could be playing one of the biggest shows of my life, but it might no, not exactly. sound, sound ideal to me. So Exactly, because you're not, you're not showing them what you really want to show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, we're definitely looking forward to both of those tours.